Now in the lab we can investigate lasers and diffraction gratings uh, to form a diffraction pattern on a screen. And uh, basically what we have over here is our laser, which should be a class 2 laser and less than 1 milliwatt. Now it doesn't sound like a mass of power, but again this is a very concentrated beam of energy and it can do real damage to your eyes. It tends to be though that class 2 lasers, if you see them you blink because you see this kind of really bright flash in your eyes and that does protect your eyes a little bit but it's really important to remember not to look down the laser obviously and also to make sure that if it, it doesn't hit any shiny surfaces where it could reflect. Um, and because you don't want a shiny surface what we can use is a piece of paper uh, which you can have just blue tack onto the wall to be your screen and about a metre away from that is where we have our diffraction grating. So in a darkened room, what you need to do is you turn on the laser and you just uh, clamp the laser and the diffraction grating in retort stands at a good distance away. Uh, and what happens is uh, most of the light goes through. And it is, this is what we call our zeroth order maximum. And, I, and I'm gonna call it N is equal to zero. So you should be familiar with some of this theory. But as uh, the light spreads out and it interferes with itself, we also get periods or, or parts where we have this constructive interference and also destructive interference. And what we get is a, again looking down like a top-down view on, uh, on what we see here. Uh, we see that we also have these other positions on the screen where we have bright spots. And effectively this is n equals 1, that's our first order, uh, and then n equals 2, which is our second order. And we get the same above it as well. So what does the theory say? Well, the theory says that uh, n lambda is equal to d sine theta. So n is just the order of the maxima that we have down here. So we've got n equals 1, n equals 2, and then you'd have n equals 3, and so on. Uh, lambda, that's the wavelength of the laser light, which should be the same because it's this nice coherent laser source. D is uh, the distance uh, between the, 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 uh, the, effectively the gratings on that diffraction grating. Now you've got to remember that often it, this tells you how many lines per millimetre, but we want to have our distance in metres. So that's something that you've, uh, you've just got to check. And then theta is the angle between the zeroth order and the order of the, the kind of bright spot that we're looking at. So what we might have is effectively lambda 1 over here, lambda, sorry, uh, theta 1 there, and then theta 2 over here. But how do you find this? Well, this is where you need to measure the distance between the diffraction grating and the board. Now, this distance here is going to be equal to D. We then have a nice, kind of looking at the bottom triangles, we have a nice right angle triangle. And then we're thinking about the opposite side. And this is what you can measure very accurately using um, a meter ruler on the actual screen itself. And I'm just going to call these distances H1, uh, which is down to that uh, first order. Uh, you'd have H2 down to the second, H3, and so on. So then you can think about using tan, because we know that uh, tan theta is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent. Uh, so tan theta is equal to H over D. And therefore, theta is going to be uh, you know, inverse tan of h over d. So this then gives you your value of theta that you can use over here. Now, with this setup here, you can't find a huge amount of orders of light because they tend to get quite faded. Um, and what is probably the best way to do things is to find out the wavelength uh, using the first order by using uh, lambda equals d sine theta over n. Uh, you then find out for the second order, the third, and maybe the fourth. And what you can then do is you can find your mean value uh, for the wavelength of this laser light. And again, you should remember that uh, the, the, if you're using red light, which is often what we get with these kind of school lasers, uh, that the wavelength is in the order between 622 and 780 nanometers. So that's the kind of thing that you should be getting into. So hopefully that makes sense. Just remember the key safety thing is do not look into the laser beam, don't be tempted, uh, and make sure that it doesn't bounce off anything which is reflective and then back into your eye. Apart from that, uh, this should hopefully help you when you do this practical work. Thank you.